now to announcements. Now to announcements. <laughs> Congratulations to our high school quiz bowl team for their performance at nationals this past weekend. They were able to place eighth overall out of everyone there and place fourth out of the very small schools category. And they got this trophy. And Holiday Herman was able to place second out of all the freshmen that were there. Good job, guys. So for announcements, we have May 6th is second and seven, and high school students will get a group picture. On May 7th, high school academic awards are at 8, 10 a.m. On May 8th, it is the last Big Brothers Big Sisters. On May 9th is the high school choir concert at 7 p.m. And middle school. And you have May 10th is box lunch social at 11 a.m. So the box lunch social is next week, May 10th. And the forms for these, these ones right here, they are due today at 10 a.m. And they must be given to Mr. Recker by that time. And group, you can give me in groups. And these groups can be from one to four people and groups can either buy or make the lunches. However, when you make the lunches, you will have to wait to see if your names were picking to make the lunch, and if they're not, you can still buy. But if you do not buy, then you will have to uh, stay here and have a study hall. And all these are for a fundraiser. All the money that is used for this is going to the PG Quiz Bowl team to fund some exciting things for them in the next coming years. Um, so how this works is, let's say here, Someone bids for these, this Dr. Pepper and Cheetos. Let's say they want 25 cents for this whole thing, right? They will keep bidding until this goes up to like say a dollar. But say someone wants to be outrageous and pay a $20 bill for these. That's how it's gonna work. And with senior, seniors that know this, a lot of kids will too. Um, freshmen, just be prepared to bring a lot of money in because the price for these can go over $100. Some of these meals will go over and it's outrageous. So do be aware of that. Um, there are some cornhole tournaments that day, and it begins the box lunch soul show. The auctioning for these foods will begin at 11 o'clock around that time. They'll be in the auditorium in the gymnasium, and then we will bid them. And then when we're all done bidding, you will get to go to the park, hang out with friends, play some cornhole. Like I said, there's frisbee. And then when you're done with that, you can. We will come back to the school at around 2.30 and we'll have some ice cream to end off the day. One. Now on to uh, question of the week. All right, um, here with Andrew. And uh, Andrew, how was prom? It was, it was good. Dance was good, post prom was good. Favorite thing was uh, probably hitting the doggy with Aiden Morris. Can we see that again? Uh, no. Uh, one time thing. In the wobble. And a lot of some great dances we had. We're here with Carson Meyer for Question of the Week. And Carson, how was prom? It was pretty good. It was definitely better than last year. Okay, what was your favorite part about prom? I would say the inflatables, definitely. Favorite inflatable? Probably the one where we played WWE on. There you have it. Here with Eliana for Question of the Week. Eliana, how was prom? It was really fun. It was what was your favorite part? Um, the food was really good, but the chocolate fountain didn't work, and that was sad. Yeah, so, thank you. Yeah. Where's Lucy? Your question of the week. The question is, how was prom? It was good. Just good? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Uh, close prom. We don't like the bouncy houses. Mm, what was your favorite bouncy house? Uh, the one where you had to like what? knock people uh, at the person office. Oh, uh, I gotcha. Office. I don't yeah. know what it's called either. We're here with Nate Walker for a question of the week. The question is, how was prom? It's pretty good. All right, what was, your, what was your favorite part about prom? This cup. Okay. There you go. Callaway cup, best part of prom. I'm here with Rui. Hey Rui, how was prom? I saw you dancing in the corner over there, you and your lady friend, so how was it? It was fun, one of the best proms I've been to. Hey. <laughs> what, was, uh, what was your favorite part about it, if it was so good? Just getting to see all you guys have fun. The venue is really hot though. Yeah, I so wish I wish the air was flowing though. <laughs> what day is it? National day. National day. Now with National Day. On May 3rd, which is National Space Day, National Space Day dedicates the first Friday in May to the extraordinary achievements, benefits, and opportunities 
in the exploration and use of space. The goal of the ob observance is to promote math, science, technology, and engineering education in the, into young people. The hope is to inspire them to pursue a career in science, especially a career in space-related jobs. Oh. Now to this day in history. Big third, in a stunning triumph for a political outsider, Donald Trump all but clinched the Republican presidential nomination Tuesday with a resounding victory in Indiana that knocked out rival Ted Cruz out of the race and cleared Trump's path to a likely November face-off with Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton. Alan, the sports. Welcome back to PG Sports. Baseball has three games this upcoming week, with the first being today at Jefferson starting at 5. They have another game on Monday, May 6th, at home against Perry starting at 5. And then another game the following day on Tuesday, May 7th, at Kaleida starting at 5. And for softball, they also have a game today at home against Patrick Henry starting at 5. Another game on Monday, May 6th, at Spencerville at 5. And on Tuesday, May 7th, at Kaleida in their final game of the season starting at 5. And then for track, we have the PCL meet, which is at Columbus Grove. That's going to be tonight at 4. Good luck, everyone. Now on a senior spotlight. We're with Reagan and Macy for senior spotlight. How are you doing, Reagan? Good. How are you doing, Macy? Not too bad. Okay, so the first question is, is what do you plan on doing after high school? I'm going to go to Ohio Northern University to major in pharmacy. And what are you doing after high school? I'm going to Rhodes State and Lima to get my associate's degree in nursing. What is your favorite high school memory? My favorite high school memory is probably just all the talks I've had with my friends at lunch over the years. Uh, what's your favorite high school memory? I'd probably have to say being on the Pandora Gobo swim team. That's where I met my boyfriend. What is your advice to your classroom? My advice is to take CT classes early in high school just to get them over with. Then you won't have to do as much in college, so that's pretty mm -hmm. smart. What is your advice to your class? I would agree with that. Definitely ask plenty of questions when it regards to that. You'll save yourself a lot of money and you get a really good head start. So obviously our dogs came from the same person and um, my dog's super hyper. Mm -hmm. So from your dog being young to now, what has it gotten better at? It's a little less hyper. Okay. A little bit. I, would, I, I don't even know what I could say for my dog because it's still really hyper. Um, over the nine years of doing swim, what would, what would you take away from it and like what was the most fun part about it? I would have to say it really taught me teamwork and how to socialize. I've been on three different teams over those nine years, so I've met a ton of new people and it just really helped me kind of branch myself out there and definitely made forever friends. Yeah, I can understand the socializing thing. There's a lot of people mm -hmm. in swimming, so. Yeah, that's for sure. And now, on to birthdays! Happy birthday! <laughs> For this week's birthdays, on Sunday, May 5th, we have Cora Hovis and Eliana Hickson. And on the 7th, we have Gavin Geiger. Happy birthday, everybody! Tropical smoothie, so uh, you guys didn't miss out on the whole thing. So, strawberry banana. Mm -hmm. mm. Eight. <laughs> Slurpee from Speedway. Blue raspberry. It's pretty good. It's a nine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you mean? Go. What are we doing? Come. We're back. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>